What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 3. I was just uh, hanging around in the Rivet City Marketplace here and I found on this table a free, in air quotes, weapon augment, an auto fire mechanism. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick that in my shotgun. Seems like it'd be pretty cool. Did it change at all? Who knows? But yes, I have uh, sorted my ammo problem a bit uh, to the best I can. There's there's like one proper gun seller in uh, River City called Flak and Shrapnel, and uh, I think you can buy from both of them separately. I'm not too sure. But I actually really what I want want to do now uh, is I really want to go and finish off some Moira stuff. So what I'm thinking is, if we go to the that place where she told us we can find a bunch of mole rats and then just, you know, repel them, then we can go back to talk to her. Uh, there's the repellent stick. Yeah, it is. The, um, that's the bridge right there. The bridge where I collected those mines and I said I didn't want to go over to that place. And then I saw the other bridge down the way which had raiders living under it. Yeah, apparently the place with the mole rats is right around here somewhere. Interesting. There's a centaur up there. Okay. And there's a shitload of stuff up there. I better get my shotgun out. Ah, shit, my shotgun's moved. Because it's now a new weapon with the, the auto fire. Combat shotgun. Whoa! I'm liking this thing. Seems like a great way of wasting ammo. Yeah. Oh, time to throw the destiny dice. Disaster got a three. Fortune got a four. Ow! My consequences? Yeah, fuck you. Whiskey. Plus two any drinks. Okay, I could see that being used for, you know, making money. Like, when does it roll? Does it only roll every time you go into battle or something like that? There we go, let's get rid of my radiation. Where is the door? I never knew rats could spawn up here. Ah, here we go, that's what I'm looking for. Oh no, that's the service entrance to the memorial. Right over there. I'm looking for this door over here, which is the tepid sewers. There we go. Let's go and do our best to be nice and only repel some more rats. Oh. Jesus Christ! Ah. I heard a noise, wasn't really sure what it was. It was one of those fuckers behind me that I didn't spot. Railway spikes, I'll take those. Definitely gonna have to make the railway gun later and just draw all over the walls. Hmm, that turret control system is locked. Average. I can't go down there. But I believe that's where the raiders are anyway. And I want mole rats. Which should be this way. No? This is just a dead end. Shit. And that's the way I came in. Well then, we're going to have to set this off from a distance, aren't we? Set all this fire off. Um, pulse pistol might do it? 
I don't actually know. There we go. Just had to hit her with it. That set it off. Ding! God damn it, Fraps. That's better. Oh, thanks for the free assault rifle. I'm surprised that uh, that turret isn't shooting at me. Oh! I mean, I know it's only a Mark One, but damn. That's the thing about this. In real life, that, like a Mark One would be more than enough. You would not need to shoot someone with like a bullet, maybe two. People can't tank a hundred bullets like they can in this. I'm all right. Oh, they're already dead. That is an awful lot of blood and guts noise when you hit one of these mole rats. <laughs> hey, Rock Soul, guess what? Fuck your head. Really? Excuse me, I'm just gonna heal up quickly. Duck? The guy had a unique name, does that mean he's got like a special weapon? Combat shotgun, rock salt's key, and some shotgun shells. Nothing special, but uh, he did have a combat shotgun, which is nice. Dude, this game might as well have been called, like, What Mine Is Mine. The amount of mines i found. I think i found more mines than living creatures. Which does actually surprise me. So, Mr. Rock Salt, what does your key unlock exactly? Eh? Eh? It's gotta be something around here. This is, uh... Clearly, where rock salt was protecting. You're dead, meat sack. Oh. 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 Well, he's he um startled me, so I didn't say anything. I just turned around and held down the trigger. Oh. 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 Come on, yeah. So you, you know your friend Rock Soul? Yeah, I'm doing exactly what he liked to do. I'm shooting rock. I'm just blowing my load all over your tits. Rock Soul lives within me. Oh, there's a box. Wonder Blue Dean's Electronics. Nice. Do do do. What we got? Nothing interesting there. A radio. Oh, hello, what we got? Toilets? Yeah, toilets. Oh! There's uh, some Abraxo cleaner in there. <clears throat> Knights of old were big and bold. They took their shits on the side of the road. They gave a salute to a knight that passed and used little white bunnies to wipe their asses. Born on a mountain, raised in a cave, fucking and trucking is all I crave. Well. Huh. There's gas around here. It's sure it's convenient that gas is confined to that little area, and not over here where they have an open flame in a barrel. Mm, three darts. Yay. Oh. Ah! Really? You had a safe with a key for like 
a hundred caps worth of stuff. And again, depending on who you are, a hundred caps can be quite a lot. Um, motorcycle handbrake. Do if we got anything interesting? A refrigerator with shit in it. Man, Rock Salt, you were hardly even worth killing. If you didn't give me a shotgun, I wouldn't have bothered. Ooh, just caught that one. Right, there's another dead mole right here. What's going on up here? Nothing. Oh, mole rat! <laughs> Oh, I do love this weapon. Oh, rat. It's like some sort of uh, weird contact explosive. Like the first hit puts a little bit of it on them, and the second hit makes contact with it and makes it explode. Well, that's not a very nice door. The machinery still works in here. I can hear it going. Raider repellent stick! It worked! You can't claim that my raider repellent stick isn't effective. Yeah! What are you gonna do now? Oh, you literally brought a knife to a sledgehammer fight. I should probably fix a couple of these things together. Yeah, let's do that and fix the combat shotgun. Can I move now? I can, good. Swing, 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 swing. Haha, <laughs> it's so therapeutic. What's this? Yeah. I'm not really that interested about anything else that might be down here. Hey, a metro. But you can't go down in, but can you go up? Yeah, to Georgetown. Wait, Georgetown? Why do I know that name? I know why I know that name. Georgetown is full of super mutants. I walked out the wrong side. Actually, you know what? We're going to try and fight these guys. I don't know how well it's going to go. Actually, we are not going to manage it. I just remembered how many there are. There's at least 20 of them out there. Oh, I can't back away from a challenge. <laughs> Roman State Conductor. Fuck, got enough stuff on you, mate. Shitting hell. There's like super mutants up in those buildings and in all these places around here. He spotted me. It's always seemed a bit harsh. It's just like, yeah, yeah, you know, just kill a couple of uh, mole rats and maybe the odd raider. Come out in a place which is just pure super mutants. Damn it. I just found a space where I can wait, which means I can teleport. Damn it. Okay. 
Okay, there's a guy over there. So I'm sorry about how dark it is. But it's about the only way I'm going to stay alive right now. Is by using the darkness. Whoa! Okay, off you go. Don't worry about me. You, uh, you go and do your thing. You do you. Georgetown North. Hey, a bike. Hmm. Oh, I see. I could have walked through. Could I? Or was I? No, I was on the other side of that. I couldn't have gotten through. I had to drop down. Foggy bottom. We are here. Okay. Good to know. Hang on, there's a shop here. The Nuka Cola shop? Oh, hell yeah! I didn't know there was a Nuka Cola shop. Oh my god, this shop has windows that work. I don't actually think I've ever seen that. Yeah, screw you, bloke fly. That's so cool. I mean, I'm going to assume they don't work properly, and that if I was if I was to go outside and drop something on the floor that I wouldn't be able to see it from the inside. But still... Nuka Cola Protector of Wind Up Toy! Nuka Cola Fridge! This is so cool! There's a Nuka Cola shop! Piggy bank! Novelty bottle, hell yeah! Tiny little protectrons. Antique fridges with Nuka Cola and Quantum in them. They must just have the same like spawn table as a uh, as a normal Nuka Cola fridge. Nuka Cola piggy bank, Nuka Cola truck. Oh man, this place is so cool. It, there's um an awful lot of Nuka Cola stuff. Oh, toilet isn't rigged. And it looks like it's just this one floor with two rooms. Still really cool though. Georgetown! I'm definitely going to have to remember that's there. <clears throat> Man, it's interesting how the... Um, Stop the Red Menace in list. It's interesting how it was... Uh, oh, Army Recruitment Center. It's interesting how the windows work from the inside going out, but not the outside going in. Die, Centaur! Mate, you just got licked. Oh, God. Excuse me. No? Didn't want to actually die there? There we go. Well, you're dead now. Ooh! Heckler and Koch cause. Isn't that some sort of ridiculously powerful shotgun? Let's find it. H&K cause. It is. Ooh. I think I found my new shotgun. What's that? Um, it looks like some sort of memorial, tiny little memorial thing. Hmm. 
Let's take a quick look around the army recruitment office then. Let's see if there's actually anything still here. Ugh. Yeah, make sure we check these gore bags as well. Because there's normally money or explosives in them. Ugh. There's not a nice sound. I wonder if this uh, super mutant was just, you know, living here with his pet centaur. I did not mean to take the telephone, but whatever. Uh, oh, a locker. Leather armor. Empty. Some jet. Um, a clusterfuck. Boxes of detergent. First aid box. Oh, stim pack. No, take the stim pack, not the crap underneath it. Uh, I wonder if I've got some food that I can eat. Centaur tongue. Yeah, I don't fancy that, thanks. Maybe if I need to, I don't know, wipe my ass or clean my balls, then I could use a centaur tongue. I'm not going to fucking eat one. It was just weird. Could you imagine find, coming across that beast and then just being like, what should I do with this corpse? I know. I'm going to take the tongue. That's what I really want from this thing. Sorry about that, guys. I am back. Uh, let's see. We were just looking around here. Oh, first aid box. Oh, yeah. I've, I've gone overweight again. Dirty water. Junk food. Mole rat meat. There we go. A move. So there's not actually anything important in here, it's just some it's a nice place to stock up on some supplies. And I did find the HK cores, so Yeah, if I, I mean if I was gonna take anything from a centaur, I mean yeah its tongues are obvious, but look at that spine. I would love to split that thing all the way down and look at its spine. That thing that must be incredible. Let's just have a quick look and see if there's any more shops around here. Because if there is, I'd really like to visit them. Um, you know what we can look at? We can look at... Uh, local map. Foggy Bottom Station. Tepid Sewers is where I came from. Yeah, it looks like there's not any more shops around here. So, we can just leave. We can just fast travel. Straight back to Megaton, in front of Moira's shop. Oh, it's night time. Not anymore. Hey Moira, I, uh, I tested oh, something I for you. Wait to hear how <laughs> I tested it out and it works just fine. Uh, I tested the mole rat pellant extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. <laughs> what more could I ask for in a research assistant? Who so, knows? how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. A uh, fatal allergy. Uh, it gives them quite a kick, like too much jet. What? You're kidding, right? Oh, wait, you aren't kidding. Huh. Probably a metabolic reaction to the chemicals. Mm. I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked? Oh, but for your trouble. Why uh, would you milk here, mole rats? Have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. Okay. I'm sure you can find some use for them. I don't take chems. Jet, psycho. Is that it? Um, what's the last yes, part? knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer mm. device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Really? Oh yeah, and don't kill any of them as well. I have a stealth boy, I think, don't I? I could probably do this quite easily. Uh, stealth boy is an aid. I don't. So are they intelligent? 
Wait, give me a second. Let me uh, sell some shit. Because once again, I am completely full. It's these frag grenades and frag mines. They come out of nowhere and they fill my inventory up. I'll take that 308 stuff. I'll take your stim packs as well. Knife. That. Um. I don't need the repellent stick. Scoped hunting rifle, I'll keep hold of that. Um, sadist armor. Centaur tongues. Ugh. Moira, you are definitely a weird one, I'll tell you that. She has some research on her computer about centaurs, wondering to herself if they can speak. And her conclusion is they have a lot of tongues, so they probably Good can. Hunting. Moira is definitely weird. Right, we actually need to go back to where we were just a moment ago. Back to the Anchorage Memorial. <clears throat> and then we need to find our way in and down. Oh, well, they dropped dead. To be able to... Uh, drop, the, drop the observer off. And we have to do it without killing any of them for the... Uh, the special part of the quest, which is just fantastic. Then again, I don't really like killing Mylurks, they take a lot of ammo to kill. Actually, if I remember correctly, that door that I found last time that was the very easy lock is the, uh, the easy way to get in there. Where's that door gone? I actually can't remember where it is, it's on the outside somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's by water and like near one of these, these ledges. But it could still be pretty much anywhere. Oh, here it is. It's on a big ledge. Right. Makes sense. Dead Wastelander. Actually, if I remember correctly, you can find one of their spawning pods incredibly close. Like, in here. Hide the observation device inside. And then you can just bitch out straight away. I knew there was a reason I liked going this, this special way to get there. That door sounded like it had about 12 stages of lock me mechanisms. Someone's paranoid. Then again, after seeing what's inside, I would be paranoid too. It's not paranoia if everyone really is after you, after all. You know, I think I've found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. It still tastes like old feet though. Anyway, what's up with you? <laughs> oh, nothing much. About them, my lugs. So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Ooh, or priests? Ooh, or some sort of scaly community center? I slipped the observer room with the eggs, they were none the wiser. Oh, yeah, they didn't see me at all. Gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. Thank you. I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first hand observations of them? They're big and their faces are very. Enclosed. Um. Hmm. Proper intelligence. That's very scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. What? Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Three stealth boys. Shady hat. Is that the second chapter done? Absolutely. I'm glad to finish it up. I bet you're even happier, right? Yes. Just one last chapter now. And it's much safer. I promise. Oh, and here's your payment. Two big boxes full of ammo. Think of it as insurance. In <laughs> yes, the next chapter's gonna be really safe. Why don't we take 
Why don't you take these two big boxes full of ammo just to uh, make sure you will be safe? What the hell is that hat? Plus five sneak, plus one perception. One damage and resistance, one weight. What's that? Okay, it's quite nice actually. Doesn't really suit my guy because, you know, my guy looks a bit weird. But it's kind of nice. I got my eye on you. Oh, you have an extended magazine kit sitting there. I want that. Come on, I'm wearing a hat that gives me plus stealth. You can't see me. Wow, you actually can't see me here. Interesting. <laughs> I got my eye on you. Shut up, mercenary. You know what I think we're going to do, guys? I think we're actually going to end an episode uh, around the 30 minute mark for once. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to call it here. We're going to come back next episode, maybe do some more Moira. Maybe I uh, can find another quest for us to go and do, or we could just go exploring again. Who knows? Well, thanks for watching. I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I, uh, I hope you've been enjoying this series as well. I'm having great fun playing hey, it, and I can't wait to just play more. Well. I'm busy. Shh, Moira, Moira, shh, shh, shh. I'm busy. I'm busy. Thank you. Where was I? Um, I don't know. Let's just go right to the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.